Alrighty folks, how's it going? Got a, another how-to video today. Uh, this one is uh, rebuilding or repacking uh, a wings exhaust. Now, this is on my 701, uh, but this will apply to pretty much all their exhausts uh, and probably Acras and whatever else, but this is easy. Minimum tools required, shouldn't take too long. Uh, this is the second time I've done it. Uh, first time I may have made an arse of it because it sounded like puffy, it's kind of making weird noises. Uh, so I've either not done something right or the can's just dying anyway. Tools you'll need are a hole punch, hole punch, uh, tolerance adjuster, drill with a five mil bit, rivet gun, it's a nice big beast, and that's about it. Uh, so before you start, give it a good wash. Uh, this was minging, it was covered in loads of tar spots and chain grease and whatever else. So just make it easier working on it. And you'll probably want to put down something to protect your floor if you're doing it on the floor. Um, there's fiberglass in this, so it's nasty stuff as well. So you might want to get a face mask. I don't have one, so I'm just going to stick my face in my t-shirt. You'll probably want some gloves as well, so you don't get itchy hands. Uh, so let's crack on. Get some large gloves, not medium ones. Right, so we want to start by knocking the center through the rivets. Just in there. Just want to get the hole punch right in the middle and give it a give it a tap with the tolerance adjuster. And while I'm doing this, I'll try not to get too in the way of what's going on. I've already made this video before and it was shite. So that's why I'm doing it again. So yeah, when you hit it, you'll feel it go right the way through. Not quite sure how well that'll show up. You're just knocking the pin out of the rivet. So all the way around. So now that's done, need the drill. You're just gonna drill the top off the rivet. I think it's a five mil bit. Faster. That's it. So yeah, basically, we're just taking the top off. So go again, just go all the way around, take all the cops, the cops, the tops off. So yeah, now we've done that. Get the punch and just pull the rivets right the way through so you can then get the end cap off. There you go. Okay, so what I've noticed when you're drilling the rivets out, there's still this one, for example, there's still a bit holding on to the end cap where you want to pretty much knock the whole thing through into the can, uh, just like I've done with these two here. And that should make it a bit easier. So either need a little bit more drilling or a bigger tap with a hammer. There you go. Now it should come off. Give it a jiggle. Oh, it's coming. Finally, my God. Oh, you need to get this bit out, so this bit should be more fun. Okay, the other end was so much easier because it had that on to pull it out. Okay, so after much swearing, that's the end result. Cap has come off. Need to like wiggle it a lot and stuff. I may have used a hammer. May have used a hammer. Uh, so now, just got to pull all this packing out. Probably use some grips to get that out actually. So, just going to use a set of grips to grab hold of the core and try and pull it out. Holy Jesus, this one's stuck. 
fuck's sake. There we go. Ah. Okay, so the cores come out and left the packing. That's nice, fantastic. Oh, here we go. So, looks like my core has started to come apart. That might be why it's making a funny noise. Uh, so, pull that out. Sometimes the packing comes out with it. Also, this is going to be a dick as well. Yes, it is. Give it a twist and a turn and a chug. And some swear words. Why are 10 minute jobs never 10 minutes? There we go. <sighs> Jesus, now this is the bit where you need your face mask or something. All these little bits of fiberglass. Is it nice to breathe in? So there is the dumping wall. Yeah, it's not that bad this time actually. So, one exhaust can. So now, Need to get the new cord and packing back in there. Oh man, that's stinking. And so am I. So if you order the packing kit and the core from Wings, that's how it comes, taped up. And Gorads or Gorach, I don't know how to say his name, that's kindly marked front. So that means that way, pointing to the front of the bike. I'm trying to put a round thing in funny shaped hole. It's a pain in the ass. Now there's something I will point out. On the other end of the can, it's exactly the same as this. You've got this um, bit in the pipe. Not quite sure. There we go. So this bit needs to slot inside the core. Uh, so it, it can be a bit of a farce when putting it back together, especially pushing It's like the other end, the bit that you don't open, that's the annoying bit. So it, it can take a couple of attempts to get right. So what a complete pain in the dick that was. So the problem really is, it's not a round can. It's the, I don't know what shape it is but like the bit at the top smaller than the bit at the bottom. So the core is wrapped and the core is in the middle of the packing. That, that shows a kind of better example. You got, you got to fit that round bit there. So it ends up like here, but you need to push it up a bit. Um, whereas if, if you've got this end, you can kind of ooh, just get two fingers in and uh, and like push the core up but because I've got that end stuck on I couldn't really do that so um, just use some extra tools uh, so now that that's in fire the end cap back on which this will be a complete cunt and all so what a royal pain in the dick that was just trying to squeeze the can together to uh, to get the pipe in uh, the end cap kind of made a hash of that, but the end, the carbon end cap will cover it up just nice. Um, if you do in this end, or even if you do in the other end, easier to get the bottom in first than it is the top, just because of the profile of the can. Uh, so now just push it into the holes line up, and then get the carbon cap back on. So don't have a rubber mallet. I do, but I don't know where it is. It's probably in the shed, and it's raining. I'm just going outside. So, just tap it in. Give it some love taps. So that's all in, so carbon cap. So yeah, we'll get the cap on, then Put that jobby on, so this should just go on quite nicely, but I'm going to give it a wipe first, because it's bogging. Slot that base on there. 
Ooh, lovely noise. And then the stainless cap, the stainless band that goes around it. Just remember the gap uh, goes to like the back of the can, so where the where the tire is, and it goes on a certain way as well. So wraps around, and then we'll uh, secure it in place with the rivets. Now the fun bit, or the easy bit, anyway. And the rivet gun. So you can use the rivet to line things up as well. Uh, just put a bit of pressure pointing it down on it. <laughs> yeah, just don't fall and break everything. And that's it. And then some top tips. So I said before, you'll need gloves. Yeah, I've, I wore gloves. Um, they kind of got ripped up and stuff. Um, you probably want to wear either a long sleeve t-shirt or a jumper or something, just to stop the fiberglass getting on your arm. Because man, I am itchy as fuck right now. Um, and the same goes for a face mask. Um, just wear like one of them paper type ones. Um, like the really cheap ones, it's just something to stop it getting in your, like in your throat and your chest. I've got a really bad throat now. Putting the ends in, whatever end you decide to do, try and get the bottom side of the can in, uh, like this bit, um, before you try and squeeze the top in. Uh, so you've got to really squeeze the can to get that bottom bit into there. Once it's in, the top just pretty much falls in, because uh, it's the bottom of the can that kind of holds the shape. Um, so yeah, same for this end. I think this end is much easier. As I said before, when you're trying, you're trying to put a round thing into something that's not round and it's really off center as well. So if you put the, the core in from like from this end, you can use your finger, thumb, whatever to push the core up around uh, the lip that's inside. And then that end will just slot on. Uh, but yeah, the only thing that made it hard this time really is because this is like corroded in. So yeah, just uh, fire it back on the bike and tidy up. Uh, if you like my video, hit like and subscribe and tickle that bell end icon for notifications of when I do some more how-tos and general dicking around. Uh, until next time, cheers.